Hi! In this video, we'll take a closer look at the touché mechanism and how it translates your hand movements into sound. Since touché and touché SE share the exact same mechanism, this video applies to both models. Whenever you press or slide on the touch plate, touché detects these movements on the basis of four precise sensors. We can easily recognize their current values in the scope section of Touche's companion app Lié. These different signals can be classified as four distinct axes of movement. Pressing on the top, pressing on the bottom and shifting the touch plate to the left or to the right. All four axes react with extreme precision and sensitivity, detecting even the slightest movements. And any parameter change applied to your synthesizer at a later point will be derived from these four axes. The left and the right axes function on the same spectrum, which is handy for things like controlling the pitch. The top and bottom axes, on the other hand, work completely independently of one another. Applying the same pressure to the bottom versus the top axis results in different mixes. Notice that if I apply pressure to the top or bottom edge of the touch plate, then only one axis transmits the signal. If I press close to the middle, I get an equal mix of both axes. This is the same concept that allows me to slide my hand along the touch plate and create a gentle transition between the two axes. Touché is so sensitive that even the slightest pressure to its surface impacts the sound. In the next example, I'm using our very own Arché solo string plugin and trigger a series of bow strikes, barely scraping the surface. At the same time, this mechanism offers a lot of key travel for the touch plate. The further you press it toward the body, the more feedback you'll feel. This allows your muscle memory to adapt naturally to the playing feel and with a bit of practice, you'll quickly learn to control the pressure of your hand motions to get exactly the results that you want. You may be wondering how this mechanism works, so let's take a quick look behind the scenes. The core of our technology consists of two silicon cylinders, one of which is embedded beneath the touch plate. You can see the cylinder by detaching the touch plate. Don't worry, because it's held in place by a magnet, you can easily snap it on and off. If I remove the cylinder from its rail, then the touch plate spaces will droop at the top. If I put it back in, you can see how the cylinder is actually responsible for the tactile feedback at the top axis. The second cylinder is contained within a compartment on the underside of the device. This cylinder provides the resistance for pressure applied to the bottom axis. Our patented mechanism was meticulously fine-tuned for Touche over several years and in close collaboration with artists. Depending on your taste and the sounds you're working with, you may prefer that the controller responds with more or less sensitivity. Lucky for you, the Touche mechanism can be adjusted. Stay tuned for our next video to learn how to do this. Thanks for watching.